Now we are going to take up one more problem on projections of laminas. How to analyze this by using 3D and also by using two dimension and how to solve the problem by using the sketchbook. The problem number 92, it reads as a pentagonal lamina of size 25 mm is resting on one of its edges on HP with corner opposite to that edge touching VP. The edge parallel to VP and the corner which touches VP is at a height of 15 mm above HP. Draw the projections of the lamina and determine the inclination of the lamina with HP and VP and the distance at which the parallel edge lies from VP. So he says a pentagonal lamina of size 25 mm is resting on one of its edges on HP. Since it is resting on HP, obviously we have to start the problem from HP. And since one of the edges is has to touch HP, make that edge perpendicular to VP. So this is how this edge is the one which is made perpendicular to VP. When you look at the front view, it is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP. So that is the reason why you are getting a point here. As we see from the uh, top view, the surface is perpendicular to VP. And therefore, when you look from the front view, you are getting a line in the front view. As we look from the top view, uh, the, you will be able to see all the sides A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E and E, A. Each of these sides will going to have 25 mm. As we look from the front view, A, B, C is near to the observer. So A dash, B dash, C dash is visible. D and E is away from the observer. Therefore, D dash, E dash becomes invisible. So this is how we can be analyzed in 3D in the initial position. The shaded portion is the one, the, it is the actual lamina. Now here in the 2D analysis, we can see one of the side is perpendicular to VP and then you construct the pentagon. And when you, uh, you can see A, B, C, D, E, all the sides are visible. And when you look from the front view, uh, you are going to get a perpendicular, uh, you, since it is perpendicular to VP, so you are getting a line here. As we see A, B, C is near to the observer, so it is visible and D and E is away from the observer. Therefore, D dash, E dash becomes invisible. Now, the edge parallel to VP and the corner touches VP is at a height of 15 mm above HP. So here, the edge is resting on HP and uh, the corner is above HP by 15 mm. The corner is above HP by 15 mm. That means you are rotating the pentagon such that it is keeping one of the edges on HP and the corner is uh, rotated till it becomes above HP by 15 mm. So that is uh, the shaded portion is the one which is going to show shows you the actual lamina in this second position. And when you look from the top view, this projected surface will going to be the small A, B, C, D, E. And when you look from the front view, you are getting a line because as the surface still perpendicular to VP. So here A dash, B dash, C dash is visible and D dash, E dash is away from the observer. So it becomes invisible. That is what we have shown here. So that you reconstruct the second position, uh, first position from view here, such that the side opposite to the corner is above HP by 15 mm and construct the uh, pentagon here. Now, the corner opposite to that edge touching VP, draw the projections of the lamina and determine the inclination of the lamina with HP and VP and the distance at which the parallel edge lies from VP. So here we can see this is the actual uh, shaded portion is the actual lamina which is in the final position. So here uh, the corner has to touch VP but even in the final position you can see that the corner is above HP by 15 mm as the surface is inclined to HP and also the surface is inclined to VP. Therefore this surface is perpendicular to the right profile plane which you can see here it is in the perpendicular plane and since he has given for the inclination with respect to HP and VP so this is the inclination with respect to HP which can be seen in the side view and this is the inclination with respect to VP which can be seen in the side view so you are going to get 67 here and you are going to get 23 the sum of these two will going to be always equal to 90 degrees so and also we can measure the distance of the side from the x find the distance at which the parallel edge lies from VP. So this is the vertical plane, the distance at which uh, the parallel edge. So this is the parallel edge which is parallel to VP and which lies from the vertical plane, which will be equal to 35 mm. So that we need to identify. So how do I know that my problem is right? One of the side is touching HP, the side opposite to the corner is touching VP 
and uh, the side opposite to the corner is above HP by 15 mm and this is a pentagon of 25 mm and also he says to find out the inclination the inclination with respect to VP is 67 degree and the inclination with respect to HP is 23 degree and the distance between the parallel lies from VP so that is the distance which will be equal to 35 mm. So this is how we can be able to analyze by using 3D and also by using 2D. Now we will try to solve this problem by using the sketchbook. So to do that first we will going to draw the XY line and you mark this as XY and VP and HP. So by using the uh, this is approximately I have taken at the center of the sheet in the sketch sheet or sketchbook. So first in the in the horizontal plane you measure 25 mm and draw a vertical line and you mark that point draw a th thick vertical line and you mark that as C and D. Then by using the protractor with, with C as center with respect to CD you measure an included angle of 180 degree and then draw an inclined thin line. Similarly with D as center taking the uh, protractor with D as center with respect to CD you measure an angle of included angle of 180 degree and then draw an inclined line. By using the compass with C as center taking the radius of 25 cut an arc on this inclined line and you mark that point as B with D as center taking the radius of 25 cut an arc on this 108 degree line and you mark them as E. Then with B as center taking the same radius of 25 draw an arc with E as center cut on the previous they drawn arc you will going to get this point A. Then join A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, E to A with a dot line. Then you have to write the front view draw a vertical projector from A to the XY line and draw a vertical projector from B and E to the XY line and you draw a vertical projector from C and D to the XY line. As we see from the front view A dash, B dash, C dash is visible and you mark them as A dash, B dash, C dash and D and E is away from the observer therefore D dash and E dash in bracket. Then join A dash to C dash with a dot line. Now we need to reproduce the same, same drawing in the second position so that the side opposite to the corner is above HP by 50 mm. So to do that, you take any convenient distance from this first position front view and you mark that point as C dash and D dash in bracket. Then from the XY line, you measure 15 mm and draw a horizontal thin line parallel to the XY line. Then you measure the distance from C dash to A dash with C dash as center, cut an arc on that uh, horizontal line and you mark that point as A dash. Then join A dash to C dash with a dark line. Then you measure the distance from C dash to B dash with C dash as center, cut an arc on this inclined line and you mark that point as B dash and E dash. Then draw a vertical projector from A dash to the top view and draw a horizontal projector from A. Both these two lines will going to intersect at this point. You mark them as small A and draw a vertical projector from B dash and A dash and draw a horizontal projector from the first position top view from B and E, both these two lines will going to intersect at these two points and you mark them as B and E. Similarly, draw a vertical projector from C dash and D dash to the top view and draw a horizontal projector from C and D, both these two lines will going to intersect at these two points and you mark them as C and D. Then join A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, E to A with a dot line. Then join a to the midpoint of CD here in the second position top view. So once you do that, then we need to reconstruct the same in the third position. So to do that, so you take any convenient distance from the second position top view and you mark that point small a here. Then draw a vertical projector, vertical thin projector line from A towards below the XY line perpendicular to this XY line. Then with A as center, by using the compass, you measure the distance from A to this point from the second position top view and transfer from A in the third position top view and cut an arc on this perpendicular line and then draw a horizontal projector, horizontal line perpendicular to this A uh, perpendicular line. Then you measure the distance from this point to C and also from this point to D, both these two distances will be equal with C as center, I mean with this point as center, cut an arc on this side to get this point C 
and you mark that point as C. And similarly, with this point as center, cut an arc on this side to get this point D. Then <clears throat> you measure the distance from this point to from A to this point and transfer from A on this. Then draw a perpendicular to draw a perpendicular thin line with respect to this perpendicular line. Then you measure the distance from this point to B and also from this point to E. Both these two distances will be having equal from the second position top view and transfer from this point towards the left side to get this point E and you mark this point as E. Similarly, from this point, you cut an arc on this side to mark this point as B. Then join A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, E to A with a dark line. Now we need to construct the second, third position front view. So to do that, draw a vertical projector from A to the front view and draw a horizontal projector from A dash from the first, second position front view. Both these two lines will going to intersect at this point. You mark that point as A dash and draw a vertical projector from C to the XY line and also from D to the XY line. And you mark those two points as C dash and D dash and draw a horizontal projector from B dash and E dash from the second position front view and draw a vertical projector from the second to third position top view from B and E. Both these two lines will going to intersect at this point. You mark that point as B dash and you mark that point as E dash. Then join A dash to B dash, B dash to C dash, C dash to D dash, D dash to E dash and E dash to F dash with a E dash, uh, e dash to E dash with a dark line. Then you take any convenient distance and draw a vertical line, thin line and you mark this point as X1 and Y1 and you mark this point as RPP here. Then you draw a 45 degree line from adjacent to the top view and uh, you draw a horizontal projector from A to the origin and from here you take it to the top and draw a horizontal projector from A dash from the third position front view. Both these two lines will going to intersect at this point. You mark this point as A double dash and draw a horizontal projector from B A dash and B dash to the side view and draw a vertical horizontal projector from E and B to the 45 degree line and from this point you draw a vertical projector to the side view. Both these two lines will going to intersect at this point as we see as we see from this point E dash is near to the observer so it is visible therefore E double dash is visible and B dash is away from the observer therefore B double dash is in bracket. Then you mark them and draw a vertical projector from D and C to the 45 degree line and draw a horizontal projector from C and D, C dash and D dash to the X uh, to the side view and draw a vertical projector from this point to this uh, uh, profile view. So you will want to get this point, draw, mark this point as D double dash and C double dash in bracket. Then join A double dash and D double dash with a thick line. Then by you mark them as theta here and you mark them as phi. By using the protractor with D double dash as center, with respect to the XY line, you measure the inclined line. This angle is theta. The theta will be equal to 23 degrees. With respect to the X1 and Y1 line, by using the protractor with A double dash as center, you measure with respect to this uh, X1 and Y1 line, the angle will be equal to 67 degrees. And from and also by using the scale, you measure the distance from this point to here. You mark them as L is equal to question mark and the value of L will be equal to 35 mm. So this is how you will be able to uh, find the solution and the distance above HP by 15 mm you mark this and also this is the side of 25 mm. So this is how you will be able to complete the drawing by using the sketchbook. So how do I know that my problem is right? One of the side is touching HP and the side opposite to this corner is touching VP and it is 15 mm above HP and it is a regular pentagon of 25 mm side and find out the uh, inclination with respect to both HP and VP and also this the distance at which uh, from VP the parallel edge which is going to lies from the vertical plane. So since we have found out all the distances and also satisfying all the given conditions in the problem and hence the problem is right. So this is how you will be able to analyze and solve the problem by using the sketch. Thank you.